Profits, yes. Are these profits? Yes. So, so profits could be anything. I'm just exaggerating. I'm not saying it could be anything, but I mean, you have lots of tricks to change your profits. Okay. Any thoughts, any questions on the math I showed you, on the calculations I showed you? So some of you might be saying, isn't it stupid they are paying more in taxes? What did I tell you before? This is just for show. This is just for show to you guys, shareholders, not to the IRS. You see what I'm saying? When they go to the IRS, they'll try to minimize their taxes as much as they can. They are probably showing this set of numbers to the IRS and this set of numbers to you because they want to impress you. Any thoughts, any questions? Do you, did you all understand what I'm talking about? What are profits? You tell me. What are profits? So one objection. Number two, let's look at more, some more examples. IBM. IBM, uh, and this was back in the 90s, I believe. IBM uh, was a big time manufacturer of large computers, what we call mainframes. Mainframes, okay. Huge computers. And those huge computers uh, were costly, they still are. So many companies would lease computers from IBM, okay? Would not buy them because of fear of obsolescence or, or because of because the cost you know was prohibitive, the price was prohibitive. So many companies would would lease uh, these big mainframes. So let, let me give you this example. So so let's uh, let's assume there is a firm. It has a five year lease, five year lease on a computer, and. The firm agrees to pay 100K every year, 100K every year for the next five years. For the next five years. Okay, so let's assume this is, uh, this is year 2018. Okay, so IBM prepares, IBM is preparing its uh, income statement for 2018. Okay. So uh, you can assume that they will receive the first payment here. So I should say this should be 2018. This is 2018, year one. Okay, 2018. So IBM is preparing its uh, income statement. So what sales number should IBM show? Revenue, sales, what should it be in year one? 100K. 100K. It should be 100K. What do you think IBM was doing and still doing, perhaps? I, I, don't, I have no way to verify, but this is based on an article I read in the Wall Street Journal. What do you think IBM was doing? I mean, you and I feel like, you know, that the first year's revenue should be 100K because uh, this party, the counterparty, is has, has made just the first payment, and they'll make the next payment next year, and so on and so forth for the next five years. So what do you think? What's your best guess? What do you think IBM was doing? Claim all five years. Yes, so they were showing not 100K, but 500K as the revenue in year one. And I, what I read was uh, in that article, uh, IBM's accountants were frowning on this practice, but they signed off. The auditors, you know, who are supposed to, they said it was aggressive. Yes, of course. They'll disclose it to you. If you want to read the footnotes, you know, they'll tell you that this 500K is the sum of all future payments. Profits. You see what I'm talking about? Profit. These Are these really profits? Are you sure that the, 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 the leasing party will be around next year or the year after that? You have, you have brought in all these future revenues and you are showing those revenues uh, for the current year. Is it a prudent practice? So wh why do companies do it? They do it to 
of course impress you, show profits. So what exactly are profits? That's what I'm asking you. What are profits? What are you maximizing? And uh, one more example I want to give you, mini scribe. They, they, they played downright dirty, you know. They, they were, um, they committed a fraud. Uh, they were, uh, mini scribe was a disk, you know, disk drive manufacturer. And for some time, you know, they were blooming and, and they were dominating the disk drive market. And then, you know, competition entered the market their sales began to decline, so they decided to play some dirty tricks. What did they do? Toward the end of the year, say it was December, they were worried their sales were not as high as the markets were expecting. So they decided to ship thousands of disk drives to their customers without receiving any purchase orders from them. They said, oh, ship a hundred disk drives to our party, you know, that has purchased these drives from us before in New York. A thousand to a party in Columbus, Ohio. A thousand to some other place. So why were they doing it? What do you think? Any accounting majors? I'm sure there are a bunch of them. Because according to the accrual method of accounting, remember what the accrual method is? Accrual method. A cruel method of accounting, which is what accountants use. As soon as you make a sale, as soon as you ship merchandise, even though you know you 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 are shipping merchant merchandise without receiving any purchase orders. Okay? As soon as you ship merchandise, what are you allowed to do? You're allowed to recognize this as revenue, even though you have not received any payments. You see that? So as soon as soon as you ship you know, a merchandise, you're allowed to record this as revenue. So you might be wondering, okay, yes, when January came, they impressed the market with very high, you know, sales numbers, but you know that those party, parties would be calling them, hey, we received the merchandise, we never placed any order, what are you doing? Or what are you gonna tell them? Oh, hang on there, hang on with this, you know, <laughs> you might need it next uh, quarter, or, the worst case scenario, send it back to us and they can continue playing this game for some, some more time. So, so this company was able to show you hefty, hefty profits, at least for a couple of quarters before these managers went to jail. Okay. So we have problems with profit maximization. So uh, what are the problems? Let me list three problems we have with profit maximization. <laughs> profit maximization, I'm using uh, the acronym PM, profit maximization, ignores number one, cash flows. Cash flows. What are profits? These are not cash profits, right? So ignores cash flows. Okay, like GM manipulated the depreciation number. Okay. IBM brought in, you know, revenue from future time periods. Okay. Was it equal to the cash flow, actual cash flow? No, it was not. So profit maximization ignores cash flows. We in finance emphasize cash flows. 